First up for today, abortions can resume in the state of Kentucky for now. WDRB's Dalton Godby breaks down a judge's ruling that temporarily blocked the abortion ban. Dalton? Well, guys, the ACLU says appointments for abortions will resume here at the EMW Women's Surgical Center tomorrow. This comes after a judge granted an emergency restraining order blocking Kentucky's ban against abortions. Kentucky's Constitution provides the right to privacy, bodily autonomy, and self-determination. We are challenging the constitutionality of the state's trigger ban. To argue it and then submit it to me to decide. Thursday's ruling comes on the heels of a lawsuit filed by Kentucky's two abortion clinics, EMW Women's Surgical Center and Planned Parenthood. The ACLU, representing EMW and Planned Parenthood, argue that Kentucky's trigger law banning abortions entirely violates the state's constitution. Judge Mitch Perry granted an emergency restraining order on the ban, allowing abortions to resume. ACLU says just under 200 women have been turned away from abortions at EMW since Kentucky's trigger law went into effect. EMW will resume business tomorrow and Planned Parenthood is already scheduling abortions, it says. They say the judge's ruling is a step in the right direction. Attorney General Daniel Cameron released a statement saying, quote, we cannot let the same mistake that happened in Roe v. Wade nearly 50 years ago to be made again in Kentucky. We will be seeking relief from this order, end quote. However, the law prohibits emergency restraining orders to be thrown out. The ACLU and the clinics say it is a step in the right direction, but pro-life organizations are disappointed. Both say the fight will continue in the courtroom. Today's Temporary restraining order is a victory, even if temporary, because it restores the ability for Kentuckians to once again access safe, legal abortion. It's very unfortunate that this judge decided to rule the way that he did, um, but this isn't the end. We're, we're, you know, we're moving forward. Attorney General Cameron's full statement is on WDRB.com, as well as additional responses from the ACLU and Right to Life. A hearing on the ACLU's request for a temporary injunction on the band will be taken up in court next Wednesday. More on this to come in our evening shows. Stay with us for coverage. Reporting live in downtown Louisville, Dalton Godby, WDRB News. Dalton.